This is so much goddamn weight on my shoulders. All I'm trying to do is live my motherfucking life. Supposed to be happy, but I'm only getting colder. Wear a smile on my face, but there's a demon inside. Welcome to another segment of Character Origins, where I take a character of fiction and look at their origins, both biographical and conceptual. Today we look at the big green brutes of Marvel Comics. This is The Incredible Hulk. First appearing in The Incredible Hulk, number one, in May of 1962, Robert Bruce Banner, seriously, the Hulk's real name is Robert, not Bruce, as many of us have been told, was the son of an alcoholic atomic physicist who worked on producing clean nuclear power as an energy source. This, however, made him afraid that his exposure to the radiation was somehow mutating his son's genes. Just to be clear, the Hulk is in no way a mutant. That is something completely different, which I can touch upon in a different episode. As a child, Bruce showed signs of high intelligence at an early age, which strengthened his father's beliefs, and he later became abusive. Bruce's mother, however, deeply loved her son, and this also served as fuel for his father's rage. One day, when Bruce's mother intervened in the abuse, she was killed by Bruce's father, and was later arrested. Bruce went to live with relatives, including his cousin Jennifer Walters, who later became She-Hulk. I can do a character origins on her as well, just comment down below. As a child, Bruce was withdrawn, and his only happiness came from spending time with his cousin. Bruce was also socially awkward and often found himself to be the target of schoolhouse bullies. During one such incident, he was bullied so badly that he actually built a bomb to plant in the basement of his school. Okay, two things. One, what is the deal with bullies? Number two, who knew that Bruce Banner was actually a Marilyn Manson fan? He probably also played a lot of Doom. Jay, are you doing what I think you're doing? Yep. Making fun of the asinine comments made by Fox News. Take that, Bill O'Reilly. Anyway, the bomb was a dud and Bruce was later expelled, but the military took notice of his genius. Eventually, Bruce earned a doctorate in nuclear physics and started a career with the military. He became the country's leading expert in radiation and weapons. One such weapon was an atomic bomb. Because we don't remember Hiroshima and Nagasaki, apparently? Financed by a pre-Iron Man Tony Stark, Stark actually sabotaged it to suppress its destructive power, if ever it was going to be used. Because he actually remembered what happened in Nagasaki and Hiroshima. And that's all well and good, but a stupid-ass teenager named Rick Jones decided to wander into the testing ground. Bruce pushed him into a trench to save him, but eventually took the full force of an entire bomb's worth of gamma radiation. Luckily, he survived, but was unfortunately turned into a giant gray beast at nightfall. And so, the Hulk was born. Also, for those of you who don't know, the Hulk was originally supposed to be gray, but due to printing issues with the color gray, they decided to turn him green. The more you know. So, created by Stan the Man Lee and Jack Kirby, the Hulk is a behemoth that has gone through way more than your average superhero. He was a founding member of the Avengers, was once the Horseman of War, fought Superman, and also, and I cannot stress this enough, became an enforcer for the Las Vegas Mafia as Joe Fixit. Yeah, that actually happened. Also, there was World War Hulk, where the Illuminati, a group of super geniuses including Iron Man, Mr. Fantastic, and Black Panther, launched Hulk into space because he was just too destructive for the planet. This led to him landing on a planet of gladiators where he eventually became king and led a war against Earth. And one of the greatest lines in battle ever was uttered. Alright, so Hulk landed on the moon, yes, the moon, and fought Black Bolt, who was able to destroy the entire planet by saying a word like hi too loudly. When Black Bolt whispered stop, it actually shook the moon, the Earth took him down, and said, I don't want to hear you whisper. I want to hear you scream. Just, just, just wow. That takes some guts. The Hulk has numerous abilities. He possesses superhuman durability and strength that increases with the Hulk's level of rage that has no limit, meaning he can punch God in the face, and God can't do he also has rapid regeneration, is immune to telepathy and magic, 
and superhuman intelligence when the Hulk allows Bruce Banner to control the shared body. The character has been portrayed numerous times in the media. He was first portrayed by Max Ferguson and Paul Soltz in the 1960s cartoon, Bill Bixby and Lou Ferrigno in the live-action TV show in the 1970s, Neil McDonoghue, I'm assuming that's correct, in the 1996 cartoon, Fred Tassier in Agents of Smash and X-Men and the Wolverine, Eric Bana in Ang Lee's Hulk, Edward Norton in The Incredible Hulk, and Mark Ruffalo in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Wow. I cannot imagine turning into a giant green monster whenever you do something as little as... Ow! 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 Erwin! Why is this laying here? Well, what are you gonna do when you need a miniature nuclear reactor? Erwin! Like Jack